super early. So I give myself like an hour and a half to get ready. I showered this morning, I made my coffee, made my greens, made my eye gels. Oh yeah, yesterday I got my nails done and didn't show you guys how they turned out. I just got them natural. But now we're gonna do some makeup. Wait, I just realized today's my parents' anniversary. I think it's their 30th or their 29th. No, it's their 29th because it's a year. They're married a year older than I am. Next year we'll be married 30 years, that's insane. Up super quick you guys saw this jacket i thrifted so i honestly don't even know where it is from but it's like a cropped one this is from marshall's it's the brand what's the brand, what's the brand? yoga delicious this is easier to see jeans are zara nikes <laughs> halo 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 <laughs> kaka no kaka Cut. stop like, it so what have you guys learned in 29 years of marriage it's the little wants, things. Oh, that's Give her what she wants. That too. Give her what she wants, and it's the little things. Love it. And what makes her tick, and what makes me tick, and how yeah, we can make those work together. Yeah, because they're not always the same. Right. Okay, be a hundred percent honest. What yeah. is your favorite thing about dad, and your least favorite thing about dad? My favorite thing about dad is just how, which can also be a detriment. As a matter of fact, it's probably the same for both. Is his want for to help everybody and anybody with anything but it can also become annoying because he wants to help everybody with everything mm -hmm. <laughs> okay what's more grinch so that's your together favorite and least favorite yeah i honestly all right dad I'd say that. favorite and least favorite thing about mom my favorite thing is her willingness to do whatever it takes to make people, me, happy. My least favorite thing is probably the same thing. <laughs> so you guys said the exact same animals. answer. Yeah. Literally the exact same answer. <laughs> what you get, Sam, the peppermint. Oh, the up. bad one? Is that the What's naughty the halo? We have a mobile order to pick up for Carissa. You said, was it Carissa you said? Yep. Is it the five drink order? That's right. Okay, awesome. Then. You guys hear yeah. Uh, no, we're good, thank you. Okay, awesome, and then I will see you at the window. Awesome, thank you. We're gonna be late for church because we had to get our starbies. Yeah. Yep, thank you. Thank you. It? Was that it? That's it. Correct. You got five drinks? Are you ready to go play with your friends? Yeah. Yay! Dad, don't, don't go into this door area. Can you go see your friends at church? See Come on. Whoa. I'll get a chance. Just this? It's fine. I'll vlog it. It's okay. You're okay. No, I got it. I got it. I see you in everything. You're working it all out for me. Oh, what can I do but sing and give to you all the glory? Father, we thank you for the Prince of Peace that came and dwelt among us, born 
born of a virgin, born in a manger, into the midst of our chaos to bring peace into our lives. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. <laughs> she took the chapstick away. Okay, we'll see you Friday. From Bye. Vegas, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You broke Gigi, she's broke! We gotta fix her! You're gonna break her! Eggs and bacon! Hi! Hi! Hey! Yay! Bacon! Do we eat eggs and bacon for breakfast every day? Yep. Comment your favorite kind of egg. I think mine's a fried egg. No way. Maybe the hot tub after I edit. Okay guys, we have officially made it 10 days in our Vlogmas Bible study challenge. I am so proud of us. Let's keep it going. We are on Luke chapter 10. We're starting off this chapter, it's called Sending Out the 72. So Jesus has already sent out his 12 disciples to start preaching the word, teaching people, healing people, casting out demons. Jesus gave his own power and authority to these people so that they are able to perform these miracles. But it says in verse two, the harvest is abundant, but the workers are few. Therefore pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest. So basically what he's saying is that this harvest is abundant. It's overflowing. There's so much harvest. There's so much goodness. The word of God is so, so, so good and it is abundant, but the workers are few. We need to raise up more disciples. So he broadens the scope to 72 people. He chooses and appoints 72 others. So Jesus is about to come to all these places, but he sends these 72 before him to prepare the way to tell them that Jesus, the Messiah himself in his own flesh and bones is coming to visit. So there are three unrepentant towns. It says it's, I'm going to butcher this name, Chorazin or Chorazin. I'm not sure. Bethany and then Capernaum. So these three towns are rejecting of it. They, they are unrepentant. They don't want to hear about it. And in verse 16, Jesus says, whoever listens to you, meaning the disciples, listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me. And whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. That's good. Okay, we're gonna move on to the parable of the good Samaritan. And basically there's this lawyer or an expert in law. He goes up to Jesus and he says, teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And he kind of wants to test Jesus. So I love how Jesus answers him. He answers this lawyer with a question about the law. He says, based on the law, what do you think the answer is? So the lawyer goes to the law and this is what the law says. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. So Jesus says, yep, that's it. That's the answer. That's how you get eternal life. You love me with all your heart, mind, soul, and you love your neighbor as you love yourself. So this parable is about a good Samaritan. So back in this day, the Jews did not get along with the Samaritans. They were completely divided. They just did not get along. So he tells them this story about this man who gets robbed. These robbers stripped the man, they beat him, they fled, they left him there half dead to die. So then there was a priest heading down the road and he had happened to see him, but guess what? He just kept on walking, didn't do it think about it, left the man there to die, a priest. And then it says in the same way, a Levite, which is someone of their own clan also saw him just kept on walking, didn't stop. But then a Samaritan, verse 33, came on his journey. When he saw the man, he had compassion. He went over to him, bandaged his wounds, brought him in and took care of him. This is a Samaritan. The people who don't even get along with the Jews is the one who had mercy on him. So whenever this lawyer is asking Jesus, what can I do to get eternal life? And Jesus says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And the lawyer is like, well, who's my neighbor? Jesus says, these are your neighbors, these people. So verse 36 says, which of these three do you think proves to be a neighbor to the man who fell into the hand of the robbers. Was it the priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan? And the guy says, the one who showed mercy to him. And Jesus says, go and do the same. So this just shows that these people, the people you're surrounded with, everybody, no matter the race, nationality, background, social status, that doesn't matter. These are your neighbors. And a commandment in the Bible is to love them as you love yourself and to have compassion on them, have forgiveness for them. Okay, this last little section is about Martha and Mary. This is a wee little section. There's other accounts in the Bible that go more into detail. But basically all you need to know is that there's these two sisters, Martha and Mary. Martha 
has a servant heart and when Jesus comes to Martha and Mary's home, Martha's in the kitchen, she's preparing things, she's making it like a nice environment, but she's not spending time with Jesus himself. Whereas Mary, she's like, the Messiah himself is in my house. I am going to sit at his feet and I'm going to spend time with him. I'm going to be in his presence. So she doesn't lift a finger. She's not really serving. She's just being with Jesus. She's just spending time with him. She puts all her other priorities and obligations and things in her head to the side and she is just at the feet of Jesus. So Martha condemns Mary and she's like, you're not doing anything. She even says to Jesus, she's not even helping. She's not doing anything. She's just sitting here. But Jesus says to Martha, Martha, why are you worried and upset about so many things? There is only one thing necessary and Mary has made the right choice. I love how it says that Jesus leans into Martha with compassion because he sees her heart. He sees that she's trying to be a servant. She's trying to help and we are called to do that. But when it comes to Jesus, he is our absolute number one priority. In my Bible, there's a little devotional and at the end of it, I just wanna read a little part of it. It says, we are all Marthas at times. We're driven by expectations and prone to empty pursuits. We struggle to sit still long enough to let the truth take root in our hearts. When we are distracted by our to-do lists and striving, may we remember that there is only one cure for our weary hearts, and that is the power of Jesus's presence. Let's rest at his feet today. Jesus is number one, and Mary was a perfect example of that. So this is gonna wrap up day 10 of our Vlogmas Bible Study Challenge. As always, I hope you guys got something from it. I am so proud of you if you're still doing this with me 10 days in. I'm just so excited for you guys to get something more and more each day out of this. So I will see you guys tomorrow for Luke chapter 11, and let's just get back to the rest of the vlog. Love ya. It's a little bit later now. Sam is outside making us some fajitas. I need to turn all the Christmas lights on. Better. Halo's chillin', watching some Moana. Hi, Vicky. Hi, hey, Vicky. Do you want to show them your diaper? So we're a naughty boy. We have to wear a diaper because we pee in the house. Same thing with this little rat. And then Sam's out there cooking up. He's making steak and shrimp fajitas dinner and then I think once we put the baby to bed we're gonna go out there and chill in the hot tub. I feel like I never vlog at night like once I get my vlog edited for the day I'm like okay I'm chilling I'm done but I'll show you guys a little bit into the nighttime. Like I said we eat and then we shower put a baby to bed and then we usually just chill watch tv we'll play cards usually as a family but my dad just left for a business trip and he we won't see him until we go to Vegas. So we're going to Vegas this week, later in the week. So we'll see him then. So there won't be any card game playing today, but I need to put my hair up, take my earrings out. Don't feel like it at all, but whoa, I really need to do some laundry and get caught up. Come here, come on. Tortilla. See, so we're all showered and ready for no day. What do you want? A bubble? A bubble. A bubble. Okay, well then can mommy have a hug and a kiss? Thank you. A bubble. Okay. Bubble, want to movie? I see. Any watch a movie and sit? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're gonna go watch some Christmas movies and I'm gonna make some hot chocolate. I think I'm gonna try cherry. Okay, let's try cherry hot chocolate. I definitely made this wrong. You're supposed to put hot milk over it, but I just mixed it then microwaved it. My childhood medicine, that is so gross, I'm not doing this. Starbucks hot chocolate. Doesn't fail. More ice. Huh? More ice. More ice, Bubba? 
No, no, no. Oh, Giggy has to get it for you? Giggy over Big kiss. Big kiss. Can you pat me back? No, Papa, Papa, Dada. 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 She calls it a papa because her first robe is a Paw Patrol one, so she just calls them all papa. This one's her cute Minnie Mouse one. Dream of Disney, baby. And you can ask Dada, can we go to Disney World? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's open it! Yay! You're a Martha. <laughs> <laughs> I am such a Mary and you are such a Martha. Like if Jesus came, well, you know you'd be serving. Oh, I'm, well, that's the thing. You're like, you're like, everything. But who, who did he praise? He praised Mary. The Mary, that's not right. the Martha. I know, that was today's. We are on day 10 of our Christmas Nativity Advent calendar. So you know what we gotta do. We gotta count to 10. Ma'am, over here. <laughs> count to 10, ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, what? Eight, nine, ten. Okay, can you open it? It's a shepherd with, what is he holding? What is that? A bath, a little lamb. Can we show them? A bath. It's a shepherd. Can you say shepherd? Shippy. Okay, we're gonna get on to our giggy boxes, okay? Say, love you, Jesus. Bye. Bye, say, love you, Jesus. Bye, <laughs> Okay, what number did we wanna do today? Two. Eight? Eight? Okay, what color is eight? What color is this? Green. Good job. Where's your other tat? Maybe Giggy can tat you up while we're opening it. Cause you gotta read your tattoo. Reindeer tattoo. We have, uh oh, something squishy. <gasps> what is that? Ew, it's an eel. Another one of those. Ooh. It changes color in the water. We gotta put those in the bathtub. Okay, and we got a finger puppet. I wonder which one it is. <gasps> it's a snowman. Frosty the snowman. Giggy. Was a jolly, happy soul. I don't know the words. With the corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made. Can I put it on your finger? Cool. I like his hat. Whose hat does he have on? A Santa hat. Hat. It's Ho Ho's hat. No. We. Oh, there's a barn in there today. Roof. What I color is that? Open. No. What color is that? Black. Brown. A horse. What's a horsey say? Good job. What color? Bow. Good job. We have a puzzle. <gasps> There's a bunch of balls in this one. Shake, shake, shake. Watch, I'm gonna slam it down. Oh, normally she shakes it and then immediately puts it down. <laughs> this is Daffy Duck. No, this is Donald Duck. Yeah. Donald, the black one's yeah, Daffy. Yay! 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 Moving on to Mama's box. What number did you do, Halo? So mommy's gonna do number eight. I'm gonna copy you, okay? Number eight. Ah! Look at that. Look at that slice. Paper cuts are like I the most underrated cuts. injury. Yes, I hate paper cuts. <laughs> Maybe I can get another paper cut with this. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Slice me up with all the fitties. Did I just say? <laughs> what did you say? Slice me up with all the fitties? She's trying to steal this. Daddy, mommy. Yeah, that's mommy's. No, say it was mommy's. Put it in your box, Put it in your we box. We got that, we got a lotion, and our eye gel. No, excuse me, she likes to smell the lotion. No. This one's flavor is uh, flavor scent. scent. It's Yalan. Yalin? Yalan. Yalan. And pineapple. Yalan. Rub, rub, rub. Good job, now smell it. Mmm, mm. smell like pineapple here, Kiki. 
Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> in your boxes because I didn't want to put them on those. Cool. But I have okay, thank you, Giggy. Happy Vlogmas Day 10. Bye. Say love you. Bye. Say see you tomorrow. Milo. Peace. Peace. Toodaloo. Peace. Say toodaloo. Toodaloo. <laughs> <laughs>